Um, in class and on the homework, you got a chance to look at determining whether or not a function is even or odd based upon, you know, this definition. Um, if you substitute a negative x and you get a negative function value, um, not necessarily just a negative function value, but a negative of the original function, um, it's considered odd. And you get an even function if you substitute a negative x in. For all negative x, you get the original function uh, back in return. So there are there's another way and um, uh, kind of disappointed that we're not going to have time to kind of come to this realization on our own in class but there's a way of telling of, of determining if it's even or odd just from the graph. So you might know the graph that I just put up um, but even if you didn't know what, which function it was um, uh, I can tell just by looking at this graph that it's even it turns out that all even functions are symmetric um, with regards to the y-axis. That means the y-axis cuts them in half. So if I were to take um, this quadratic function, the right side of it and the left side of it um, are the same. It's like the reflection of each other ultimately over this y-axis. So that y-axis cuts it in half. So that's a general rule. If a function is even, uh, you can tell from its graph anyways if the y-axis in fact cuts it directly in half. Um, so let's talk about what it means for a function to be odd. A function is odd and uh, hopefully you know which function that one is. Um, a function is odd if it um, is the same um, basically it, it kind of folds onto itself if you rotate the function 180 degrees about the origin. So see we've got the kind of to the right of the origin and if I were to take that blue line and rotate it 180 degrees doesn't matter clockwise or counterclockwise it would end up right here where this green part is and that is in fact what the whole function looked like. Um, so you've got a rotation 180 degrees about the origin for it to be odd. Um, so let's kind of take a look at another one. It's kind of hard to see a little bit with regards um, to that linear function. So let's take a nice cubic. Um, see that part that I just kind of colored blue? If I look to the right of the origin I get this function that kind of goes up. If I were to rotate that one 180 degrees with the origin at the center I will end up on top down here where the green is. So a cubic is considered odd. Because, um, one way you can identify it is because you, you can rotate it 180 um, and you would end up with the exact same function. So let's take a look at this function. Um, this function, now, now think about it, we're, we're looking for two sets of criteria and we're saying hey does the y-axis cut it in half and the y-axis is right here and it doesn't look like it and the other one is if I were to rotate it 180 degrees about the origin would I get the same graph again in return? No. So this one is neither even nor odd because uh, it doesn't have the symmetry. Let's take a look at this one. Um, we're looking at kind of the right half of the origin. If I were to take it and rotate it 180, I would end up back kind of um, on this piece. So this means that we've got an odd function. But that same function, if I were to just shift it a little bit, in this case I shifted it up one, this one is no longer odd because you can't rotate it about the origin anymore. So odd not odd. Um, and so it's really important to notice that distinction on where you're rotating it. It also it doesn't cut down the center for instance it's sorry it, uh, it's not symmetric about the y-axis so the y-axis doesn't cut it down the middle and you can't rotate about the origin. So just to, those are those are the main ways that you can tell just from a graph if a function is even, odd, or neither.